Game plan your next car purchase before ever setting foot in the dealership. It's easy and it's a few simple steps. There's a category of car buyer this works amazingly well for, but don't worry, that should be all of you. Today, we've got nine super effective steps to game plan your own car purchase. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by The Homework Guy team, home of super high intensity training for car buyers and a very savvy group of auto experts to boot. To the disappointment of some car dealers, we're on a mission to create the smartest car buyers in the country. If you appreciate the Homework Guy videos and you want to support our efforts, well, start by subscribing to the channel and then find one of the many ways to get on board with us and help get the word out. Before we get rolling on today's topic, let me clarify. This message today targets cash buyers and anyone planning to bring in either your own personal check or a check drawn on a car loan from your own bank or credit union. If you're financing, we highly recommend you do that. If any of these scenarios apply to you, and this should be most of you, this strategy is perfect for you. Either way, you have your own money lined up and this gives you a major advantage over anyone who relies on a car dealer for financing. All right, let's do this. To my right, Joe is doing some advanced homework. He figured out what kind of car he wants, so he's creating a list of the exact specs like year, type of car, model, trim level, color, etc. Even what's in the interior so he knows which dealers to target. When his list is complete, he's going to start by calling them, not visiting them. That's a key point. Don't start by making a visit to the dealer. Follow the technique that Joe is illustrating here today and only go to the dealer when all the details have been worked out. Here we go. I'm gonna go with the 2020 Toyota Camry. I get the LE trim level because it's more budget conscience. Looks great. I want the all-wheel drive when the roads are bad. Cloth seats are fine. I prefer white. That's my favorite color. But silver and gray will work for me too. It's a great car and there are tons of them out there. So I think that does it. Number two, do not visit a dealership. Why? Well, see step number three. Number three, identify and make a list of all the dealers who sell the vehicle. Wow, there are several de dealers to choose from in my area. Looks like I won't have to go more than 40 miles to any of them. Number four, write out a script so that you can make an identical statement to each dealer. It should be word for word what you plan to say. Okay, let's see. Hi, my name is Joseph. I plan to buy this car before close of business today. It's the 2020 Toyota Camry LE, stock number 316. I'm a buyer today and I'm going to buy it from the dealer who gives me the best price. What is your best price, including tax and the state fees for title, license, and registration fees? Now that you have it all written out, start calling the dealers. Step number five if they cannot give you a price immediately over the phone because maybe they have to do a little math, look up some figures, give them your callback number and tell them you need to hear back from them within one hour. The person may tell you, We can't just give you a price because we can't sell you a car over the phone. Come on down to the dealership and come see us and we'll give you the best price. Step number six, here's how you respond. I know I can buy a car this way because literally everyone is doing it these days. Thousands of cars are getting sold with a price quote right over the phone. I need your quote if you're interested in selling the car. They may give you a price right on the okay. spot. Okay, I ran the numbers. Here's our price, $25,252. That includes state sales tax and your license and title fees. Is there anything else I can help you with? Or the dealer person may persist, giving you dozens of reasons and excuses why they can't do what you're asking. No problem. Step number seven. If they hesitate to give you a price, you respond with this. If you don't quote a price to me, I will understand that you're telling me that you know you don't have the best price. I appreciate you saving me the time. One of four things happens at this point. The dealer will respond with... Okay. Um, no thank you, goodbye. Or B... Here's our price, 25252 That includes state sales tax and your title and license fees. Is there anything else I can help you with? Or C... If we quote you a price, you're just going to use the information to get other dealers to lower their price and then ask us to get into a bidding war with them. We don't want to do that. Or possibly D... If we quote you a price, the moment you get a lower price from someone else, you're going to go buy their car instead. 
This takes us to step number eight. If you get resistance, be ready with this response. Of course, you're exactly right. I will buy a car from whoever gives me the lowest total price, which includes tax, title, license, and any registration fees from the state. I don't want to show up and see a dealer prep fee for 400 or a document fee for 700 or any of that nonsense. The number I'm looking for is the final number. Number nine, this is the last step. Now that you have multiple quotes, it's time to go back to the dealer who gave you the best total price and say this. Hey, okay, Lewis, I will be coming in at 5 p.m. to pick up the Toyota Camry LE. Your stock number is 3116. I have a check made out for the exact amount you quoted. I have no interest in discussion or negotiation of any kind about additional cost, etc. The check will be for the exact amount of the total price quote. If there are any problems or game playing, I will be leaving and going with my next dealer option. There are people all over the country who are buying cars exactly like what you saw here. You do not need to mess around with all the nonsense the dealer might want to put you through. Don't be surprised if there's a lot of money between the top and bottom price that you are quoted. Several people report that they have saved thousands of dollars by doing this. It's clean, effective, saves you a ton of headache. I hope you learned today that if you strategize your car game, and yes, think of it as that. It's your game plan for buying a car. And if you put it all together clearly and concisely as we did here today, you can actually make car buying fun again. By the way, when you get your total out the door price nailed down, and you're planning to use your own bank or credit union to cut the check, you can visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, use our car payment calculator so you know what monthly payments will be, and as always, we encourage you to select the shortest terms possible. Always good advice. The payment calculator is there for you to use, and it's free. It doesn't get any better than that. When you game plan your car deal like we outlined today, and you avoid all the nonsense a typical car dealer wants to put their customer through, you not only save yourself a headache, but you help change the car business too. The smart dealers figure out that people don't want to hear all the BS when they're buying a car and things start to change. If you appreciated the video, consider recommending us to others and leave a comment down below using hashtag the homework guy. Join our fast growing group of subscribers too. You can also email us at info at the guy.com. If you have a car contract you'd like to have reviewed, we do those for free. Just add contract review request to the email title and block out any personal information, and we're likely to get back to you. Just remember, hundreds of emails do pour in, so please be patient with us. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, PayPal and Cash App links that you see appearing here will be easy to find in the description box below or on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. 100% of your tips go to help a friend of ours, Maggie. This amazing young lady shines the light of faith, hope, and love in the lives of young people every day. We enthusiastically sponsor her focused mission of love and kindness, and Maggie thanks you in advance. Just like our team here at the Homework Guy channel, Maggie understands that you change the world by what you do. Your willingness to help support people like Maggie is much appreciated. If you can't do a tip, but want to help us get the word out, the Homework Guy team loves it when you share our videos with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel too. As our following grows, each and every one of you are playing a role in helping defeat the dishonest operators in the car business who still haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Someday they'll get it. Thanks everyone for stopping by to check us out today. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.